Get the mandate in, in place. One school in our area started the school year today defying the governor's order. WBRE 28, WYOU 22. Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers has more from Schuylkill County. Tamaqua Area School District is keeping masks optional for students and staff despite the governor's order, which states everyone must wear a mask. The Tamaqua Area Board of School Directors held an emergency meeting last week. They approved a motion indicating the school would continue abiding by its current health and safety plan. The board specified in a press release this means masks would continue to be optional for students and staff, despite the governor's order saying otherwise. It really does depend on the area, but I do worry about the legality issues of it all. Like the, if somebody gets sick and they have the mandate in place, who's to blame? It's the school. So that's the issue that I have with it. There are many questions still unanswered, but some students only see one outcome coming in the future. I think it's for the safety of the people who aren't vaccinated yet, and they should probably be wearing one. Uh, but other than that, I can only see this ending badly. Parents remain divided on the issue, but I spoke with one who believes not wearing a mask is an American's right. I believe in it. I think they should have a choice. You know, I think it's up to them. And to me, I don't agree with them anyway. We've been going through this way too long. And to me, I think they should just keep it political and keep that, you know, in D.C. and just leave it there and let us out. The Tamaqua Area School District refused to comment, but said this in a press release online. Students that choose to wear masks and those who choose not to wear masks should feel comfortable doing so in the educational environment. They went on to ask that students support each other in their choices and show respect to one another. For more information on Tamaqua Area School District's health and safety measures, head to PAHomepage.com. In Schuylkill County, Nicole Rogers, 2022 Eyewitness News.